What's going on guys? County Gains back here again. Your grandma's favorite reactor. Today we got a huge loyal subscriber sent song called Price Hike by Samson. So I think this is the first time I've ever reacted to this guy. A lot of people blowing up my inbox saying, Chris, you have to react to this. And I was like, all right guys, you know, I'm also very loyal to my loyal subscribers. I read every single comment or at least I'm trying to give me a chance because I work multiple different jobs. I work like three or four different jobs right now just trying to make ends meet. So, you know, because this YouTube thing isn't full time yet, but it will be full time hopefully in the future very, very soon. It will be full time very, very soon. But I appreciate the love and support you guys give me, man. The authenticity I hope comes through on camera. So this one should be crazy, guys. Loyal subscribers send. Let's see what it says here. We're growing the economy from the middle out and the bottom up. Lowering costs for hardworking families and making smart investments in America. That's Bidenomics, Joe Biden. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is a troll or not, but it seems like from the last song I reacted to, Rich Men North of Richmond, that most Americans, and I know I definitely feel it here in Ireland, guys, that the, the euro ain't worth anything anymore. You know what I mean? Like inflation's gone through the roof. Hopefully deflation hits soon because the euro is just worth nothing now, guys. Like we are starting to feel a crunch here in Europe as well. So yeah, Ireland is, Ireland is screwed, guys. The money that we have here is insane. So I don't know, this is probably like a lie, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is, <laughs> this is not, you know, really happening whatsoever, guys. Most people in America are complaining about this from what I, you know, I got 500 comments on the last Richmond, North of Richmond video, and they all said that it's not happening with Joe Biden in power. So hopefully the economy changes soon, guys. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know down below. I reply back to every single comment. What you guys think of my reaction? Let's get it. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, yet I'm still backpacking. Mm. Made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, I'm in the same tax bracket. I made a little money off a of rap, but not enough to make me rich, I mean it too. I just say that to say that I'm still down here in the real world feeling everything with you and I ain't fucking pissed. I got a big bone to pick with all these motherfucking activists. All these rappers and actors and notable figures that act like they know how bad this shit is. I love being lectured and ridiculed about the fact that I don't have an Electric vehicle tweeting about climate oh, change from your private plane while I pay a Norman leg to get some fuel. Thank God. Yo, this is epic, bro. Man, I've been saying this forever, guys. How is it we got, bro? This is epic. This is straight epic, guys. He said, I'm sick of being lectured by all these super rich billionaires and trillionaires, all the people that run everything about how it feels to be living in the real world as like a day-to-day -day citizen like myself, guys. I, I'm out here with you guys. I know Chris, 60,000 subscribers, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm in the same tax bracket as everybody else, guys. I got a big pwn to pick with all these musicians and uh, all these Instagrammers and vloggers. I saw yesterday you had The Rock and Oprah, a billionaire uh, and uh, someone worth 500 million, The Rock, lecturing... <laughs> How the average person can help out in Hawaii or Maui, wherever Maui is. I think it's in Hawaii somewhere where there's all these floodings and all this, you know, stuff that's going to cost millions to repair. Well, how about, how about you guys give some money? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're worth a billion dollars, man. Bro, I'm sick of that bullshit too, guys. I'm sick of being lectured by all these super rich people like, oh, you should do this to, to save the environment. Like, bro, no, you should be doing that stuff. I'm good over here, guys. I'm trying to make freaking. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Ends meet, like. Bro, this is whack. But well, this guy's. Samson, you got my vote already, bro. I'm gonna subscribe to you, brother. This is sick. To say that I'm still down here in the real world feeling everything with you and I'm fucking pissed I got a big bone to pick with all these motherfucking activists All these rappers and actors and notable figures that act like they know how bad this shit is I love being lectured and ridiculed about the fact that I don't have an electric vehicle mm. Tweeting about climate change from your private plane while I pay a Norman leg to get some fuel Yeah, now My car doesn't take premium, I'd have to get a second job just to break even Then they printed up three dollars and brought it down too And I'm supposed to be happy and act like I'm proud you the Damn, bro, this guy, I don't want to be stopping this too much, but it's right, guys. Fuel in Ireland, I used to pay no cap, guys. I used to pay back in college. Now, I'm not saying who was president at the time. It doesn't matter in America, but it was one euro. Now, it's like 180. Bro, I can't even drive to Dublin without taking out a goddamn mortgage. Like, Lord have mercy. 
This guy is spitting facts, guys. I mean, the fuel prices have gone insane in Ireland. And I know across Europe too, guys, because the EU, they have like a standard kind of set price for their prices. So I'm saying Europe in a total in a totality, right? Because it's crazy, man. America too has gone crazy, man. Like Americans don't know what expensive uh, petrol prices. I was in America last year. It was like $4 for a gallon. That's like a euro or so. that's less. That's like 60 cents for a liter, right? Because four liters go into a gallon. Here in Ireland, for one, we do per liter, for those Americans who don't know, per liter is 180 euros. It's like triple an American price. So, yeah, it's insane, guys. You know, and you got all these, The Rock is tweeting from his private jet up in the sky, oh, guys, you should be uh, concerned about climate change. Like, brother, brother, like, talk about hypocrisy, guys. This is ridiculous. To get some fuel, thank God my car doesn't take premium. I'd have to get a second job just to break even. Then they cranked it up three dollars and brought it down two. And I'm supposed to be happy and act like I'm proud of you. And to yeah. add the injury, I got Kamala telling me I need to go electric and I have to act quick. And all it's gonna cost me is fifty thousand dollars. Well, guess what? I don't have that, bitch. And even if I did, I would buy a big truck just to rub it in your face because I don't give a fuck. I would put a big smoke stack on the top of it and blow black smoke every time I open throttle it. And it's not because I hate the climate, it's because I don't trust you. You are the things you wish me to do. I would cut the floor out of the bottom of my car and start running like the Flintstones for I listen to you. <laughs> I hate Bro, this is legendary. I have, to, I have to respond back to every single bar, guys. This is epic. He said, you know, why don't you guys go buy an electric car? You know, but uh, people were saying not to sound like a damn, you know, C CT, you know, theorist. But people were saying that if you buy an electric car you know, that they can shut it off, like, remotely or something. But also, not even that, guys. I don't even care about all that conspiracy stuff. My friend has an electric car. He bought a brand new 2023, you know, Galway Reg. Rich, right? Has a great job construction. You can't even drive to Dublin. When you get to Dublin, I live in Galway, 200 kilometers, you have to recharge it for another eight hours. Who has time Who has time to waste, man? Time is money. And I don't have eight hours to charge my damn electric car in Dublin. I need to drive straight home. This is ridiculous, guys. He said, I'd rather turn into the Flintstones running. <laughs> you know, the Flintstones, they got the... <laughs> Yo, this shit's epic, bro. He said, I'd rather buy a big SUV and just have the black smoke pumping out of it just to kill the environment just because I don't trust you. Yeah, guys, I, the trust levels of the government is so low now. It's unbelievable, bro. And it's not because I hate the climate. It's because I don't trust you or the things you wish me to do. I would cut the floor out of the bottom of my car and start running like the Flintstones before I listen to you. I hate when people tell me they would rather not talk about it because they don't like to get political. I cannot afford supply shortages and high mortgages. It's not politics. All this shit is literal. That's money Damn. draining out of your bank account to make it work to the point that it breaks you down and makes you hurt. Paying nope. insane amounts taken out out of your savings they promised that they were gonna save you how they made it worse we should be a guys not to be stopping all the time but like i said i need to respond back this is epic like saving money guys this is not gonna get anybody rich it's never got anybody rich it's complete lies you see all these old people that were you know born in the 40s talking about get rich get rich this way save for 40 years that's not how you get rich nowadays guys that's not how you get any money get a business get some sort of like returnable income that you get every month sustainable income that's what i'm trying to do that's how you get a lot of money, guys. You don't get rich from working a job for 40 years and then dying broke. That's how you get broke, guys. Saving money is just the biggest lie that we've ever been told, man. Like, come on, brother. Like, the inflation just rips the... The inflation rips your bank anyway. So it's just like, why would you do that? Bro, I love... This guy is like... <laughs> he's like, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to get political. Bro, stop. This is epic, man. Samson, you got my vote, brother. Let's get it. With supply shortages and high mortgages, it's not politics, all this shit is literal. That's money draining out of your bank account to make it work. To the point that it breaks you down and makes you hurt. Paying mm. insane amounts, taking out of your savings, they promised that they were gonna save you. How? They made it worse. We should be a flourishing nation, Bro. not a country with soaring inflation. There's no. nothing more infuriating than the fact that nobody takes blame for this poor demonstration. Like, mm. what? It just happened like that? Nothing to do with your administration. You blamed it on Putin and called it his price hike. The shit was going up way before the invasion. You know, how does that work? Really, I'm baffled. Sick of being treated like a stupid blind asshole. Next thing I know, I'm gonna turn on CNN and they'll be trying to tell everybody that Putin time traveled. Wouldn't put it past them. Crooked little rats, so weaselly and spineless, always looking for a snack. Searching for the next reputation to tear apart and trash. When the views that you have and theirs aren't exact, they feed you bullshit and expect you to eat it. Then they read you bullshit and expect you to believe it. Like everything that you witness isn't for certain or real. And you're just supposed to forget all your personal experiences. Like all the yeah, money bro. that you spent, you still have the shit you didn't really spend any. 
meaning of it. You just imagine it. All the cash that you wasted on behalf of this inflation didn't happen. It's just a figment of your imagination, and it's mm. all gone. Whoa. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, guys. That was epic. I want to listen to that again, but I'll do it after I shut this off. But that was legendary. Just the last part there, guys. He's saying, you know, it's not, it's not politics or anything. It's literal, like the money draining out of your bank. Like I think I heard my friends say the last day that they're like, just get a mortgage, guys. How are you supposed to get a mortgage in Ireland? It's like four hundred thousand euro. Like my friend had a has a job working business, <clears throat> and he has a wife as well. They did they disallowed him the mortgage like three times. They said no to his more three times. Like what, bro? Just rent for the rest of your life because, like, it's tough, guys. Getting a mortgage, man. It's crazy, like. To the point that it breaks you down and makes you hurt. Paying insane amounts, taking out of your savings. They promised that they were gonna save you. How? They made it worse. We should be a flourishing nation, not a country with soaring inflation. They're yeah, like America's the richest country in the world, guys. They should have massive. They should be like, literally always driving the whole world economy. <laughs> like China too and they have massive inflation it's just I don't even understand guys like it's it's crazy economics and I did economics in college so like it's like crazy economics there's nothing more infuriating than the fact that nobody takes blame for this poor demonstration mm. like what it just happened like that nothing to do with your administration you blamed it on Putin and called it his price hike but shit was going up way before the invasion now how does that work really I'm baffled sick of being treated like a stupid blind asshole next thing I know I'm gonna turn on CNN and they'll be trying to tell everybody that Putin time traveled wouldn't put it past them <laughs> crooked little rats so weaselly and spineless always looking for a snack searching for the next reputation to tear apart and trash when the views that you have and theirs aren't exact they feed you bullshit and expect you to eat it and they read you bullshit and expect you to believe it like everything that you witness isn't for certain or real and you're just supposed to forget all your personal experiences like all the money that you spent you still have the shit you didn't really spend any of it you just imagine it all the cash that you wasted on behalf of this inflation didn't happen it's just a figment of your imagination and it's all gone that was epic that was one of the most epic things i've ever ever heard in my life guys i'm not gonna lie and it was only about two minutes long flat. So he said, help me out in the comments down below, PayPal. Yeah, guys, like, I don't really ask for money on my channel too much, but I do I do have links, you know, for my channel to help me out. But you guys can do that if you want. I've had a lot of donators before in the past donate to my channel. So I love each and every one of you. You all know who you are. There was a good few. So I do appreciate the love and support that I get for this channel. Because I keep it authentic, guys. I keep it real. I'm not trying to, like, fake anyone on this damn channel. So Samson, damn, bro. That was crazy. Let me go back and see if I react to my brother before here, Samson. Let me see if I go back and react. I haven't reacted to him, guys. I haven't reacted to him whatsoever, but pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. So 46 equals 13. I'm going to react to that next. I love you guys all. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. He's speaking facts, man. He said, I'm sick of being treated like I'm blind. You know what I mean? Shit's going on right in front of us, and you know it's unbelievable, guys, You know what's going on. So... Leave me in the comments down below. I reply back to every single one of you. What do you guys think the BS is going on now? I'll see you all then, man. Peace.